Okay, so we're going to do a video on the worst NFL cities in America. Now this is going to be based on several factors. Attendance, blackout history, fan support in general, things of that sort. So without further ado, let's get started. Number five on this list is going to be Cincinnati, Ohio. Now I know a lot of people are going to give me hate over this one because they've had decent support lately due to the much winning to be had. But in reality, this team struggled with attendance for many years. Even in years where they were winning and had winning seasons, they would have blackouts. In 2011, they had multiple blackouts despite making the playoffs and were only attracting crowds in the 40,000s range, so not even coming close to selling out. And really has finished on the lower end of attendance most of the last 20 years or so. It's really more of a baseball city despite what people will say. Just because they're winning recently, they think that it's a football town. But not the worst, but definitely not close to the best. Number four is gonna be Tampa. Now, this is one where there has been a little bit better fan support of late due to Tom Brady playing there. During a three year stretch during the early 2010s, only five games were not blacked out in Tampa. In fact, before blackouts were gotten rid of, they even lowered the standard for blackouts to 85% instead of 100% selling of seats. And one of those three seasons in 2010, the team had a winning record of 10 and 6. It's just a situation where, you know, Tampa and Florida, a lot of transplants, not a whole lot of local grown fan loyalty there. Really just more of a fair weather fan base. They'll show up if they have a talented and good team, but otherwise the interest is low. And number three, we have a fairly obvious choice in Jacksonville, Florida. You know, the Jaguars were pretty good and a big deal early on as a franchise, but this small market team really has shown that it is a small market team with the Tarps being a regular occurrence at games for quite a while. I know they haven't had them lately, but that's also because the stadium is a lot smaller than it used to be. There's also the moving of a home game every season to London, and there's just this constant public debate over whether this is a viable NFL city. Definitely cannot put this one very high in the list of fan bases or franchises in terms of support. Number two, I have Las Vegas. Now this one feels like it's kind of incomplete because they haven't been in Vegas very long, but really you just have the transplant effect here. You know, most of the people in Vegas are not from Vegas originally or have not lived there very long. Combine that with the fact that the team is not from Vegas, originally is from Oakland and LA before that, and then Oakland before that. And even when they were in Oakland, the support was pretty poor. You have a franchise that plays host to many, many away fans at games, kind of just making a vacation out of seeing their team play the Raiders. I just think in the long run that this is just going to be a very underwhelming NFL city. It will sell out a lot of games, at least in the short run, because the stadium's new and a novelty, but in the long run, I just don't see this becoming one of the big time NFL cities. And number one, we have LA. Now, the Chargers, definitely the worst NFL fan base in the league by far. I mean, they're just not there. The support's not there. The fans at the games are not there, but this has just been forced to happen by ownership. So you already have one of two teams just being absolutely the worst fan base in the league. And then the other one in the Rams is slightly better, but still not great. I know there's support for the Rams from the first time they were there, and they'll show up if they're winning, but still, I think it's a very underwhelming fan base. And I think it's frankly just a take it or leave it city for the NFL. I know the NFL came back there, but it really was just for market size and a demand from fans for a team to be back. Aside from a contingent of Rams fans that remained from the first time they were there. So there are the five. Let me know what you think. Do you think there are other teams that should be on this list? Let me know and thank you for watching.